Well, it'll be a few days still before I get my new mic preamp, so you'll have to put up with the way this sounds. Anyway, if we get Trump, we'll be clumsily clinging to the past. If we get Harris, we'll clumsily cling to false ideas of the future. Which is worse? I'd say clinging to the past because you can never really recreate the past, and some people's ideas of the past are very romanticized. They're false. I mean, you can make it superficially look like the past, but it's false. You can only suppress the present to make it look like the past. I mean, you can superficially make it look like the past, but not in a significant way. We can try to cling to what we perceive about the future, and we'll never be right, but at least we'll be more prepared. We really are in late-stage capitalism. I hate it because it makes some of the socialists and communists write about some things. Do we try to make capitalism continue to work? Mixing isolationism and fascism in in order to still get support? Or do we change gears and try to become more globalist in nature? You know, the Klaus Schwab Agenda 2030 type of globalism. The side of clinging to a romanticized period of the past, like the 1950s or the 1980s, obviously rejects so much of modernity, which is fair or at least expected because it's a romanticized fantasy. Those periods were never as good as people fantasize, but they'll cling to those periods nevertheless, especially if those periods were part of people's childhoods. I mean, if there's a lot of nostalgia involved, it can really pull people's heartstrings. The side of clinging to false ideas of the future rejects so much of the past, which is fair or at least expected because so many of their ideas of the future is a romanticized fantasy. And some of their ideas of the past is a horrible nightmare that is even worse than it really was. A question that comes into my mind is, what happens when a lot of people on the left, enough people on the left, realize that some of the direction that we've been going for the past five or so years is a false idea of the future. Will they admit it? Will they say, yeah, we took this too far? Or will they make claims that it just was never done the right way? Look, if I'm to be perfectly honest, I really wouldn't mind at all. I'd, I'd love it if there was some way that we could actually go back to the 1990s. I mean, it's not possible, but it's a great fantasy. You know, before boys were told that they're actually girls if they like playing with dolls. Before the notion that standards of beauty in Western countries is just an extension of white supremacy. Before a standard kiss in a movie was considered heteronormativity. Before the notion of having standards, roles, rules, and customs was considered oppressive. So, who knows what the future will actually bring? I just hope we can be prepared. Just saying.